The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is characterized by its excellent art design. In particular, it makes a great use of cell shading. In this video, we try to recreate a shader inspired by this game in Unity. The Toon Shader divides the area illuminated by the shadow in a very clear manner, creating two main flat colors. There are other two more features, point of light reflection and highlighted edges inside the bright area. First of all, we downloaded the model of Link from Sketchfab. Since the model is in a GLTF format, we use the Sketchfab plugin to import it in Unity. At the end of the import process, we converted all the materials to the lightweight render pipeline and we applied them to the model. We created an unlit shader using the shader graph. To obtain data from light sources, we created a custom function that used the custom lighting file downloadable from the Unity GitHub. In particular, we created the node for the main light function. We have selected the file and the name of the function, and then we inserted the necessary inputs and outputs. We transformed the node into a subgraph using the same input and output. To obtain the division between light and shadow areas, we made a dot product between the normal vector and the light direction. Multiplying the main color by n.l allowed us to see the first result. However, we want to get a sharper division of the two zones. To achieve this, we use a smooth step node with a very small boundary difference. To color the shaded part, we multiplied the result of the smooth step by the color of the light, and then we added a new color using an add node. We multiply it again by the main color. We took the normalized view direction and added it to a light direction. Then we normalize the result and made the dot product between this value and the normal vector. We have obtained n.h, which we would need to calculate the specular. Also, we define a new color and the value of the glossiness. We multiplied light intensity by n.h and rise the result using the power node. Glossiness elevated to the second controls the amplitude. Again, to obtain a sharp area, we use a smooth step with a small boundary difference. We multiplied by the color of the specular and then added this branch to the final result. We define three new fields to control the rim, the color, the amount, and the threshold. We have started from the dot product between view direction and the normal vector, and then we reversed the value by subtracting it from 1. We multiplied this value by n.l, raised to the threshold defined by us. As usual, we use the smooth step, but in this case we set the boundary using the rim amount. After this, we multiply it by the rim color. Using an add node, we added the rim to the final result. To show the shadows, we simply multiply the shadow attenuation by n.l.
In this Unity version, we found a problem with the shadows, caused by the lightweight render pipeline. We followed the advice of Fries, found in the Unity blog, and we correct the line 185 of the Shadows library. As a last addition to the shader, we have included an input texture, multiplying it by the color. We created new materials for Link, and this is the final result. Royston has done a very good analysis on the same topic. Go to check it out, the link is in the description. Let us know what effect would you like to see realized and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Cheers!